I'm stacking hats. No, you can't have. How many hats have you got? On? Including the cap, three, four. Four hats. Four hats. Right. We always have an argument every year about who wears what hat, and I get the crap hat, and you get the good hat. Now I've got all the hats. And now you've got all the hats. That's not going to work. Give me my hat back. See, and you've got the crap hat as well, the Mr. Do hat. Thank you. Do you like wearing hats? Is it because you've got a shit haircut? Hello! Hello. It's uh, me, Barry, and it's me, Joshua. And I find this really hard to believe, but <clears throat> it's Christmas again. Yes. It's Christmas 2021 this time, and I really can't believe where this year has gone. Normally, actually. Considering this is our second year of COVID, yeah. this is two years of COVID now. I'm not going to dwell too much on it because it's Christmas and everyone should be happy. Yes, yeah, so I've heard you moaning about it way too much in the past few days. But so don't you I don't hear any more of it? No, no, you're right. You're absolutely right. And I do, I do apologise for that. Anyway, more importantly, why have I got the shit hat again? And you've got every year I get this one that makes me look like Mr. Goddamn Do, and you get. The good hat, the decent hat. Well, I'm gonna play your own game this year. Bloody hell, it's warm here. I'm gonna play your own game this year because I've got. <laughs> yes. I don't have my phone jacker hat anymore. I've got a good well, hat. Yeah. Although it's very warm in here, so I probably won't keep it on very long. Uh, Happy Christmas, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. It's our Christmas message to the world again. Well, a few hundred of you anyway. We're not the Queen. No, we're not. A few hundred of you are still watching, strangely enough. Do you know what? This is our fifth, fifth Christmas show. I also find that hard to believe because he was like this big when we first started this channel. Yeah. More than we did Christmas 2017. Well, me and Izzy did. I we were just sulking it. on the settee. We did Christmas 2018. You're in the retro shed. I'm Barry. He's Josh. And he's been driving me mad with this bloody hat. Um, yes, it's Christmas Eve. Happy Christmas, everyone that we know. Mm -hmm. Yes, in the retro shed. Hey, it's Christmas, Christmas Eve. It's the eve of the night that the baby Jesus is born. Je what are you doing with that on your face? It's my balaclava Christmas hat. You look like some psycho lunatic that's been murdering people. Excuse me, have you seen your hat? Yeah. Christmas 2019, 20, and here we are. It's Christmas 2021, it's our fifth Christmas show. And I really cannot goddamn believe we're still doing, doing this. this. Why are we still doing this? I don't know. We're still doing this because people want us to do this. Is that moving around on my head? I can feel it. Yeah, you yeah. look like a muppet. Yeah. Um, people still want us to do this. So happy Christmas and thank you so much for your continued support. It's been re it's been a tough year actually. You caught COVID. Yeah. You? He caught COVID. I haven't. The wife hasn't. He bloody well did. I got it during the 30 degree plus You got wave. it during the hottest week of the goddamn year. Yeah, that which was just pain. Josh caught COVID. Yeah. He caught COVID um, after we went to Leeds. But to be honest with you, from Leeds. I don't think it was from Leeds because no. the reason I say that is because me and Stu were in the car with him for like six hours. We shared a room with him. <sighs> we shared food with him. We shared breakfast with him. Nobody got it. in the party that we met up at uh, RK Club in Leeds got, it. got COVID. Yeah. Did I say you could take your hat? Oh, screw the hat. I'm keeping my other hat on. Why have you got that hat on? Because I have a shit haircut, all right? It's not shit, actually. It is Make, shit show everyone trick. what your haircut no. looks like. No. Go on. No. Go on. No. Please show them. No. Me. I'll take it off in a minute. No. Um, if we do, I'll cut it out. But yeah, he caught COVID in the hottest week of the year, so that was really unfortunate of you. Jesus Christ, it's warming in. Um, yeah. I don't care how hot it is, the hat's staying on. You did catch COVID in the hottest week of the Why year. Why am I higher than you? And it was because my chair continuously sinks. There you go. How's there that? Go. So my chair sinks. Um, I built a set of stairs in the garden that week. Yeah. And I was sweating was, my tits he, off. He was outside building and I was outside lying in sweating. bed. Sweating. Like I'm dying. <laughs> I was building, yeah. you were sweating. But I couldn't anyway. even game either for that week. Because as soon as I turned my PC <laughs> on, it was, like, it was like having a jet engine on the desk. The temperature, the temperature oh in your my. bedroom would double as soon as you switched that PC off. It was off. awful. But more about PC gaming in a minute. Um, I just want to take a moment to say thank you very much for the Patreons, all three of you that support this channel. You mean the world to us, you really do. And we will be doing some more special stuff for you guys because you know what? You deserve it. I'm going to be doing some special stuff for these people. And you will as well. I don't know what yet, but we need to do something special for these people. Okay? Okay. More about what Josh gets up to in his spare time, probably. That'd be interesting. 
Time this year has been tight. Work has been really, really busy. And he can actually say that now. For I the first time. Work for him has been really, really busy, hasn't it? Welcome to the real world. He has now ditched school. He'd had enough. He walked out. And I don't blame him because it was a complete shit show. I have um, the biggest pile of Oh, you can't say that. We can bleep that out. Like, I'm uh, not being funny, but... You had some good mates at school. There was a few. You had some good friends but at school. But then there were these absolute... I think you left school at the right time, yeah, didn't absolutely. you? Because you had completed all your work, you got everything done. You were probably one of like Nothing four to do kids. For a few months. You had you were like one of four kids in your entire class that actually did any work. I decided to like um, pull my shit together and get what. Yeah, and do you know what? I'm proud of you for that because Cheers, that is the real world. You know, when you're given a piece of, and you know now, what I wasn't. I'm on about. I wasn't sitting there bitch whinging because you know no. one of these assessments was too difficult or something no he just got on with it and i always it. warned him that the day he left school was the day he realized that you know what what a deadline really is and when your boss comes up to you and says i need you to do this by whatever date there's not a question of sitting there going oh do you know what i can't be asked i can't, I can't, I can't be it. bothered can't it's it. too difficult and you know what else were they doing just, at school just, like, just, well, I, I haven't just, done any work at all because i don't know what i'm doing no not good just enough winging. not good done. enough in the real world you have to get your work done by a date but anyway and this year we created about 30 something videos oh god 30 something the videos and on average what's that a little bit more than two a month yeah a little bit more than two months so basically we don't upload we still do it <laughs> We still do it when I've got something to show you or when me and Josh have got something to show you. Oh, we well, don't we upload time. every week because... Let alone daily uploads. Yeah, first. we haven't got time to sit there and upload every week. But do you know what? We really appreciate you guys because you feedback, you comment and you view and it's just wonderful. And strange enough, we started last year with a video from his bedroom which was a bit noisy because his PC is ridiculously noisy and we were considering jacking it in but something happened he came downstairs one morning and he well he, he said um, I feel like we should quit the shit yeah, yeah and when we announced that we'd had enough and we were going to stop doing this we got quite a bit of response more than I thought we were going to get um, and made us see that you know what we might as well continue we might as well continue one because I'm passionate still about retro gaming and retro computing and all technology. Josh is still passionate about gaming. Um, I wouldn't say Not retro he's gaming. passionate about retro gaming anymore because when we started this channel, it was 20, oh, when was it, 17? 17. And Josh was about 12 or 13. Um, and God, I'm nearly 17 in a Yeah, month. I know, can you believe that? You watch this mad. kid grow up. Go back over our videos and watch him grow up. Watch me get even more childish, but watch him grow up. Yeah, I'm but 17 in a month. I know, that's amazing. I'm 50 in a few days, can you believe that? And I'm sat here. Old geezer. Yeah, but to be fair, at least I'm not sat here going, hey, click the bell, oh my god, how's it going, guys? I don't do none of that shit, because that's just embarrassing, isn't it? Really, it really isn't it? Really I think I watched a tutorial video, and the guy started it off and was like, yo, well, click the bell, here's my supporter creator code. I was like, shh. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I don't care. It just makes you want to skip I the first 20 the seconds. The guy has the most irritating voice I've yeah, ever yeah. known. His video had like 2,000 views and he was already like, guys, I, I, and he, he did the classic thing. Click the they, bell. He did a classic thing where they take a screenshot of their subscriber stats. Oh. And it's like, it turns out 99% of you guys watching aren't subscribed. I was like, yeah, no shit. I Who wonder cares? why. I'm not something. To Who cares? We will never ask you guys to subscribe because you know what? If you want to, you will. Um, I've done quite a few on my own this year because... I'm going to be totally honest with you. Getting Josh down here to play a retro game is nigh on impossible. Um, he has <laughs> he has lost, I'd say, almost all interested all interest in retro, retro games. games. He still enjoys the odd blast, like we played SSX Tricky the other day. Yeah. But on the whole, he but at the end of the day, it's not the generation I grew up in. No, and therefore it is difficult for me to like them. It's the same with you, you know. It's difficult for you, as modern games now aren't the generation that well, you Well, that's something in. we're going to get onto. You know, so it's difficult for you to appreciate stuff. But I still appreciate a good game. I still appreciate a good yeah. retro yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, a little bit on that in a minute, because I was playing something yesterday with him, and it was hysterical. Um, yeah, but so we've looked at a new thing. I mean, Josh even took the time to read uh, a Thomas the Tank Engine story this year, which yeah, I thought he was asked wonderful. Me to. So, like, can you read a Thomas the Tank Engine book for him? I thought, what? what? He looked dirtier than ever. What? He looked dirtier than ever. Okay. What a lovely engine, said Alicia Botti. All dirty, like a proper steam engine. I want him to take me to the concert. 
So Alicia boarded. So Alicia boarded the train, and Percy steamed away. He felt very proud. Later, Thomas saw Percy at the water tower. I'm sorry I was so rude to you earlier, he said. It's good to be friends again, said Percy. What? We've played virtual racing, you enjoyed that. We've played we've revisited GoldenEye N64. Again. People taking a dump, Josh. I don't care, he's not having a dump anymore, is it? Right, well. Uh, what else did we do? You Red came to needs. Arcade Club Leeds, that was good, and ordered McDonald's at midnight, that was funny. Um, Probably got COVID from that, to be honest. I don't think you did. Well, no, because it was actually not that long after that, that I got COVID, you know. It was pretty yeah, close. It was yeah. been the next it week. It was stranger that none of us held, no one else so it in might the party not have been did. That. But then it could have been the gym, but I don't know. Could have been work. Don't know. but Because two of the people at my work were off, although they were confirmed that they didn't have it, and it was mm. some other fever kind of thing. So I have no idea where I got it from, who I got it from, or what the hell happened. There's been videos where Josh has been in. There's been videos where jo I've just done things on my own, to be honest with you. Yeah, do you know what? time I just show up down here. Yeah, he just know. rocks up. But the balance, I think, is right. There's things that I want to show people that you wouldn't be interested in this like time. Like fixing a computer. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. I would have no idea what's going on. I'd sit there and probably <laughs> just waffle and make the video ten times more uninteresting. But so, you know. we've been to Arcade Club. We went to South, uh, Southwest Amiga Group oh, earlier in the year. Not. And met a load of decent people. It was really, really good fun. Uh, we lost a legend that was Sir Clive Sinclair, I believe, in September this year. Um, that saddened me quite a bit. We did a special video on that. Um, we should have some oxtail soup in remembrance. Yes, we should, shouldn't we? Warming and nutritious. I've never had oxtail soup. <sighs> sounds grim. No, it's nice. It's it sounds grim. It's beefy. There, oxtail soup is warming and nutritious. Yeah, so as I was saying, Josh has lost a lot of interest in retro gaming, and he's lost that interest over the past few years. But yes. it still comes down here to make stuff with me. But me, however, here's the interesting thing. In 2021, I played more classic video games or more new retro-inspired games than I ever have before. My PS4 is probably gathering as much dust right now as his is. If I turn my PS4 on now, it would probably sound like oh, a Oh, do you know what? It would be dust. like switching on a Dyson with a lid off, wouldn't it? It would just be a cloud of dust like you've never seen. I literally use it as a platform to hold on my stuff on, pretty much, on my desk. It's just got controllers on it, masks, but face masks. Why am I not it? modern gaming anymore? I bought this year, I bought F1 2020. Yes, it was last year. No, I've version. actually seen bare people playing that recently. And it it's good. Sick. F1 2020 and F1 2021 is good. If I've you're seen people with those one. full driving setups yeah. with the pedals and the awesome. handles. Awesome, awesome. Um, I bought Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Oh, oh dear, God. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I thought it was going to be good. It's a pilot. My mate pre-ordered it. And he played it as soon as it came out, and every single night without end, he was just saying, "Oh, my tanks in the air, floating in circles." I was like, "It's not what? the bugginess. It's not buggy now because they've patched, oh, they've they've patched, patched it. it. It's just the gameplay. It's just not Ghost Recon." And I love Wildlands. We both have, Wildlands is brilliant. We've had a lot of fun with Wildlands. Yes, we've done absolutely. truck racing on the mountain and multiple times. Yeah, it's it's brilliant. Um, and you bought me for Father's Day. You bought me Just Cause Four, which is. Awful compared to Just Cause 3. I love Just Cause 3. I bought you that for your birth. You're not supposed to say Father's that. Father's Day. You're not supposed to say that. No, I know, and I, I'm really thankful for you for buying it for me, and I feel really bad about it, but it's crap. It's like, you know, people have utterly <laughs> slated Just Cause 4, and now I see why. It's not a patch on Just Cause 3. It's mm. completely lost what made Just Cause 3 excellent. It's been a year since Josh had a Game quite a powerful gaming PC. He had it this time last year. We well, had it for Christmas, didn't yep. you? Um, so yeah, yeah. what I'm really interested in. In that time, his PS4 has been gathering dust. And my Xbox. His Xbox. Oh, God, my Xbox one. was gathering dust even when yeah, I had my PS4. Yeah, let's be fair. The Xbox, the Xbox One was a door been stop. Yeah. For years. You literally played it for about two or three months and abandoned that. So you may as well. That may as well be probably not this shed. Um, it's probably more useful. But. The rest of your stuff now. I still use the controller every day though. Yeah, but that's an awesome controller. Yeah. Yeah. The good. Xbox One. It doesn't have stick controller. drift on it either, you know. I still haven't got stick drift on it. Touch wood. It's an awesome controller. Not stick drift this. Yeah, of course I do. I still haven't got stick drift on it. What's it like being on a PC for a year? It's been good. I love it. What's the pros and cons? Oh. Uh, 
Pros. The, con, the, the, the con is pros. it's three times the price of an yes. Xbox. Pros. Yeah. Pros, pros, pros. Obviously, I'm not going to be that kid who's like, oh, he's got better graphics. You know, which it obviously you, does. obviously going to have better which graphics. Which obviously does. Yeah. Games feel and look ten times better. You know, I had to go on a console the other day and I just thought, oh, God, this looks shit. What were you playing? I can't remember, but I had to go onto a console for something. Had to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, like I think, I, think I had to play Forza Horizon 3 on my Xbox because all the other lads were playing it because they didn't have the latest five. And I was like, this looks shit. What's it been FPS, like suffering Windows for a year? Oh, Windows is a pile of shit. So really? I'll, I won't even I'm not going to get involved because I've been because using Windows with, uh, since version is, 3. The thing is with a console, uh, everything is automatic, if that makes sense. Everything's run by... On Windows, though, you have to do everything yourself. You have to update the graphics drivers. You have to check the PC's That's not health. Hard, is it? I don't know, but I'm just saying it's a lot more that you have to do. Mm. And I'm saying if you weren't experienced with... You know, technology, Windows, basic IT, you'd be screwed. And let's face it, Windows right? has always been a part of And crap. I still come across a load of problems that I have to go, Baz, what the F yeah, is going yeah. on? You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. There's a load of shit You were so angry the other night. He oh, came steaming into me. I was, I, was I, was, I, was I was editing human. a video the other night, and he came human. screaming in because I didn't Forza wouldn't screaming. But you did. I wasn't screaming you at all. Screaming. You know what? I wasn't screaming. Like a banshee. Mom, Mom was asleep in bed. If I was screaming, I'd be slapped up. Since right. when do you care when anyone's in bed? <laughs> but he came screaming into my room while I was editing. Wanting to know why Forza wouldn't launch. Do you know what? I took one look at it, and from everything in the world, it looked like it had literally uninstalled itself. It, that's what it, it hadn't. We couldn't find the file location. No, it on my just PC. needed some updates. Almost as if it had uninstalled itself. Right? It wouldn't mm. boot. Right? And even in my <laughs> Xbox settings, even in my Xbox app, it literally told me, "Screw you! You don't have the game anymore." So we tried to yeah. update it. We tried to run it. The only thing I didn't do was uninstall it. Right. Yeah, we didn't need to because and I think I the was error was. Fuming. Didn't we it say the know. error was it's not you, it's us or something we like that? We don't even know what the error was, to be no. honest, because we left it for 12 hours. I tried it the next morning and it, and okay. it said it had an update, yeah. even though no yeah, updates yeah. had been released for this game yet. What was the point? Why? You have spent over £200 on peripherals this year. Pretty much, yeah. What did you buy for £200? Well, I bought a headset. A, a nice headset. Not a Turtle Beach. I bought a... Um, <laughs> a nice headset. Well, I've had a Turtle Beach for a long time. Yeah, they're good, but, you know, it's just your go-to headset, isn't it? Turtle Beach was the headset you bought me. Yes, but I had a place... Is that because it was crap? No, they're really good, actually. But, then again, they are your go-to standard headset. And Some kid was walking around the gym with a Turtle Beach headphones, you know. And I just thought, Sad. what an absolute uh, legend. I don't multiplayer games. game. Exactly. So Except for with you. So you don't need a good headset. I do with you sometimes, don't I? We, we used to. I bought the Razer Kraken Elite, right? And that thing has the best... Sound quality. Just dropping names here and there. Uh, the best sound quality. Yeah. I've ed like literally, you put it on, it's like noise cancelling. Pretty it much. It does sound good. So these guys try and call me for dinner. They haven't got a hope. No. All right. Sound quality is amazing. It's the, the, the yeah, they're huge. It looks like they I'm do a, look like you've got a pair of hi-fi speakers it strapped looks, to your head. It looks like I'm a <laughs> Vietnam war pilot in a helicopter. The bit, the biggest things in my. But they are brilliant. The mic is brilliant. It's better than my PS4 Gold. You can stand next to him and say, "Dinner." You can ready. literally stand next to me and talk to me, and I won't hear you. Yeah. Are you going to buy a PS5? No. Why? Because it's shite. <laughs> it's not shite. It is It's shite. a great piece of technology. But I think it's if you're... not a great piece of technology to buy. I think if you're being fair, there's very little, if anything, very little to worth play on playing it. on it. Stupid expensive. It's stupid. Oh, well, stupid expensive. You've got a PC worth how much and you say the PS5 is stupid expensive. Wait, if I wanted a PS5, I couldn't even get one anyway. Oh, you could. There's somebody on Facebook that's got like, 20 of them going for 550 quid right now. And he's willing to meet you in a car park at the middle of the night to hand it over. Sounds yeah, I kid you not. Sounds good. I kid you not. Sounds yeah. legit, doesn't it? But uh, there's no games on it that I can't already play. Let alone on my PC, but probably my PS4, to be honest. Yeah. You know. And to, how do you feel about your PS4? It's still your love, isn't oh, it? Oh, well, yes. Still it's, your it first, was my first isn't it? gaming console. It's, yeah. like, it's like your first car, isn't it, really? It's your first, um, <laughs> it's your first thing. I'm there's my new, my, there's my first console down there, the Philips yeah, G7000. I'm always, always going to have it. PC, yeah. Oh, God, it's a pain. You can do a lot <laughs> on it. It's a pain. You can do, it's a pain. I will admit it's a pain, but you can do so much more on it at the same yeah. time. If that makes sense. And it's interesting that I have absolutely no interest at all in the Xbox One X Series X or whatever it's called, or mm. the PS5, because there's, there's no absolutely... No. Do you know what? I went on a website yesterday or the day before and did top 10 PS5 games, and I went down the list. It's like Ratchet and Clank, not interested. 
this not interest. There was nothing there, and I know it's just a personal thing, right? I know that. I'm sure there's some great well, games. Would be very but there's nothing that, I want to play on the PS5. No. Nothing absolutely, that would, nothing subtle. that would make you spend five hundred pounds no. on it. No, okay. Not this might be a new Gran Turismo corner. Hey, ho. oh, another racing game. Yeah, it's just no. I if just, you want to play that, mate, just download it on my, my PS4 PC. is gathering dust, and I've played a lot of retro stuff this year. And do you know what? I thoroughly enjoyed it. And inside, and I know I shouldn't do this because it's cruel, but when he comes running into me, this won't download. This won't not. Day. This isn't booting. I just chuck this on. Just think, yeah, I'm just gonna go play with my classic snares. Look, man. Look, when my shit finally does boot, all right, <laughs> it looks stunning. Interesting. Game, the best game. The best game. The of best game of 2021. Forza Horizon 5. Definitely. The new Forza Horizon. Yeah, and do you know what? I walked into his bedroom yesterday and we were discussing this it's show. Brilliant. And I took over the controls and I thought, do you know what? Let's give it a go. This is how we got on. It's brilliant. So how long does this take to load up so far? It's been, what, 15 minutes? No, it hasn't. It's been about two. No, it's only been about 15. Just wait. Oh, yeah, I, think we, wait. I think we missed take my... These away. You need to take these away because I'll eat them. No, don't put it in my PC because that shit gets so hot this will melt. I'll, I will eat those if you leave them there. Where's my garage value? It's it should be 16 like, minutes. It should be like 50 mil or something like that. I'm absolute... Mate, my garage value is amazing. You're right, mate. It's struggling. It's gonna be okay. It's struggling. I promise you, it's gonna be okay. It's, but, do you know what? I feel sorry for this thing. Oh, mate, that sounds, even, that sounds even worse. That was your pride and joy. Sounds like a World War II Spitfire when I started. This that was shit. your pride and joy back in 20, what, 18, I think. Christmas Here we 2019. go. It's loaded. Look oh, at my, look at my gaff, by the way. 18 minutes. Look at my gaff. It's an absolute. Oh, mate, it's so nice. Look at my car. Ooh. That is a nice car. You know what it is? Welcome back, Joshua. Joshua. I hate how she says my Joshua. name. Joshua. She's like, welcome back, Joshua. Like, shut up. 19 minutes. Whenever you record it, it starts to load slower. It's never this long. 20 minutes. Mate, it's a big game and you should see the graphics, right? Give it a chance to load. I'm giving it a chance to load. I'm giving it 22 minutes to load. Here, Here we go. go. Look at the graphics, though. You can't They are, they are, uh, you know the what? The graphics are stunning in this game. Plus, I'm on PC as well, so, you know. But honestly, it's got so much pay attention to details and shit like that. Like honestly, when it's raining, if you go into camera mode and like zoom in, you can see reflections of everything. Yeah, but it does sound like it's about to take off. Yeah. Yeah, but do you know what? This isn't retro gaming. But well, I love this. This is modern gaming. <laughs> it's got a body kit on it. How sick is it though? It's my Supra! Yeah, but this is, look, look how much fun you can have in a Supra. Exactly. You're forgetting that that is heavily modified as well. Do you know Do how you know what? The, stand, the Supra back in the day was almost uncontrollable back then. This one is as well. This, this one is as well. This one is as well, trust me. The Supra in, in Gran Turismo looked the business. Oh, it was yeah, they look. Utterly uncontrollable. They are a car collector's you can't car. Control the damn thing. I, know, I know you can't control oh my it. God, the Brakes are awful. Mate, I don't care, it's still sick. You're fine until you come to a corner. Mate, look at the speed on that. That's a, that's a Toyota Jesus Supra. Christ, Josh. Do you know how much it cost me to modify this? You should have modified the suspension because it is almost more than... Look at that! Maybe you're just a bad driver. Because that doesn't happen to me. I'm stuck. May not. Oh, oh shit. Yeah, good job. Speed zone, you gotta drive us fast. Josh, this is uncontrollable, mate. Mate, you just suck at driving. No, I don't. You should do it. Oh, mate, that's a. Oh, okay. hang on, hang on. Oh, modern games suck, man. No. Not down there. There's a train there. <laughs> what are you doing to my Supra? Do you know that's a tough car, there's not a scratch on it. Wow, it's a rock. It's the rock there. Right, here we go. Back on the road, right? Ready? Watch this. Here we go. Just going for a nice, quiet drive in the country. Oh my god, the steering is absolutely dreadful. Your Supra looks good, but handles like a bar of soap on a wet Yes, this so, is a Skyline this GTR. This is a GTR, right? Let's see. Immediately better handling, right? Okay, that's marginally better. 
You need to brake a bit faster, mate. You just took that corner over 100 miles per hour. Yeah, but I can do that in my Mitsubishi. Can't even blame the hand thing on that one. Listen to, listen to the turbo on it, wait. Now brake. Oh, mate, it's meaty, isn't it? You hear that turbo? Oh. See, this handles. Exactly. It's a Skyline. This handles the Supra. The Supra is awful. This is much more like we should do a video on its own on Forza, the new Forza. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's the out. Any Fast and Furious fans out there, mm. you know what movie this car's from. I also put the exact same wrap on it as Brian's from the first movie as well. Oh, oh. shit, that's a big rock. Change your view one sec. A few times. And then to, yeah, now I've used the right analog stick and just pan it around. Give it a good look. Yeah, look at that camo, boys. <laughs> How sick is that? Exactly the same from the movie. Oh! That's reverse. <clears throat> the handling on this car is amazing. And it's also rapid as well, so be careful. What are you doing? Look at the handling on that. It's sick, isn't it? Oh, Not really, you just, oh, suck a, you just suck a driver, mate. Stay on the road! I'm trying! Let's see how you're a bad driver. Go into the view of the car so the viewers can see the car. What are you doing? There you go. Now you can see where you're driving a bit better. Yeah. That, to be fair, that view is very. It's difficult on this. It's difficult on this game. The back, what? No. This is Mexico you're driving through, by the way. Is it bulletproof? No. It needs to be. The handling on this is a lot better, isn't it? It's, it's a bit. No, it's, not no, it's brilliant. It's not a BAC mono. I'll give it that. It's the best handling car in this game. And it's also the fastest, one of the fastest. You can take it to the motorway which is nearby, where you can hit, I don't know if this car can hit 300, I think you can hit 280. Honestly, just driving around in this game is fun on its own. Where's everybody else? Uh, we're not online. Just go straight all the way along that, and there's a jump at the end. You'll see it. Huge ramp at the it's end. The left or the right. No, just keep going. You'll see it there. See it? No, no, no. Yep, yep. Keep going. The ramp is there, you more. There we go. Oh my <laughs> god. I actually thought you missed it then. You know, they were going to set it in um, in Japan. Hmm. Like a proper, authentic. Yeah, that yeah. would have been sick. And they I love their high performance cars. That's in what Japan, I mean. It would have been sick. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you know, driving around in Tokyo, that would have been so cool. Yeah. I can't remember why they didn't do it. There was a reason they do didn't do it. Do you want to go to Japan? It would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Do you want to get to you Japan? You know, Alex loves to, well, really wants to go to Japan. If you ever want to go to Japan, I'll come culture. with you because they've got some of the best retro arcades in the no, world. No, but their car <laughs> culture. Have you seen the car cultures yeah, yeah, over there? Oh, yeah. sick. Yeah, they're yeah. car collectors. But anyway, there was a reason they didn't. <laughs> there's a reason they didn't do it this year. I can't remember why, but they decided to set it in Mexico, which doesn't sound like the best country, but it's still pretty cool to you drive can't around. Say that. Well, no, but Mexico. <laughs> think about it. Would you rather drive around in like some futuristic Japan or Mexico? I see your point. 
So, there you go. That's another Christmas episode of waffling. of waffling and just utter nonsense. So, yeah, have a great Christmas, you lot. Um, you know, be happy. Eat lots. Drink lots as well. So No, don't do that. <laughs> We always look like the biggest retards when we do this. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? No, it's not. Just like nothing. So I don't even have my phone jacket hat anymore. Should I get my phone jacket hat and my sunglasses? <laughs> you wanna come to the gym with me later? Yes. Well, yeah, you yeah. look like a muppet. Let's not talk about the um, the microphone these pinched. That's a nice Supra. Yeah. How cool is my keyboard though? Hmm? How cool is my keyboard though? It's not really my. Look, if thing. I unplug it, if I unplug it, so you turn off the LED backlights, right? You can actually see it better. I mean, it doesn't get much noisier than that, does it? Really? That's because it's a mechanical keyboard. I know, but I could I could modify it and lube it, but do you know how long that would take? Lube your keyboard. Do you not know what that is? You know about lube. I know what lubing is. <laughs> <laughs> no, lubing your keyboard. That's what people do. So you, you can modify spray it with oil. No, you modify it under each keycap and shit like that. Good it's luck with that. Lubing. But then it makes it sound like really soft, but also clacky. It's weird. So how long does this take to load up so far? It's been what, 15 minutes? No, it hasn't. It's been about two. Let's go play Forza. It's too hot in here. Come Why are you recording my food, man? I'm getting... Don't record my food. <laughs> no, because then it's going to look like I'm an absolute fat pig. No, it isn't, because they'll be able to see you not. So your Subaru looks good. But Did you just call that a Subaru? Sorry, not your Subaru. No, not that. I'm not on about no, that microphone. you have tons of mics, all right? You have a load of microphones. You have one there. I'm pretty sure you have one over there. You've got a little one on the stand that looked the snowball. You've got mics everywhere, mate. You don't even need it. However, I only have one Xbox controller and it goes missing down here. It's a good controller, to be fair. Yes, and it is mine. So if you want a controller, nick one of your shitty PS4 ones. It feels like you're holding onto a bit of plastic. 